What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to talk about uh, setting up a floor remote, and uh, it's a DIY floor remote setup. It's very affordable. It only will cost you I'm <laughs> no more than ten dollars. Just the most expensive part is the gaffer tape. All you need is gaffer tape, as you can see on the right, and in the middle we've got two AA batteries. That's all you need. Now. I've discovered this thanks to uh, the team photographer for basketball over at UCLA. Uh, I believe his name is Don. I don't know his last name. I totally forgot it, but very nice guy, very helpful. Uh, he saw me setting up my own floor remote that I had. Uh, it was a Manfrotto Magic Arm attached to uh, one of those Manfrotto uh, tripod legs that spread out and they get really low angles. It's very nice, but the biggest flaw about it is that it takes up way too much space on the floor, and especially at college and even more so at pro events for NBA, uh, you can either, you're not allowed to do floor remotes, period, or if you are, you need to have a very, um, uh, not, uh, very compact setup. And as you can see that the one I have is currently very large, it takes up a lot of space, and honestly when I was setting it up before the game, I had a feeling that uh, the team photographer was going to approach me and tell me, it, you know, it's, you got to take it down, it's too much, and I, I was hoping it wouldn't happen, but he, he ended up coming up to me. But instead of telling me, you know, hey, no floor remote, you can't do that, um, or this is too big, take it down, uh, you know, he actually came up to me and just said, you know, we can make this way more simpler for you, and it'll benefit you, and it'll benefit uh, the athletes in case, God forbid, that one of them falls, and you need to pick it up quickly uh, so it doesn't get damaged and they don't get hurt, so let's make this simple. He asked me if I had AA batteries. And I said, uh, only on my pocket wizards, which I, I need. And he's like, okay, one second. Ran to the media room, grabbed his own AA uh, batteries, and grabbed his own gaffer tape. This is moments before the game, by the way. So it was very, very uh, helpful of him, and I really appreciate his help. I thanked him a bunch of times. This is my first time to, uh, talking to him. I've seen him around there, but we just never, uh, never talked beforehand. So he was just a really nice guy. And I really appreciate his help, but he basically grabbed gaffer tape and two AA batteries and he set it up for me. And that's basically how I discovered this. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of it already or seen this. I, I, someone on my Instagram mentioned that they, they were asking me what I use for a floor remote uh, setup. Uh, and they mentioned that they're tired of using this setup, which is really funny. But I think it's pretty cool. And it's really affordable and, and it works. It's, it's a cheaper way of doing it, yeah. And granted, it doesn't give you as much flexibility as the one uh, you saw that I had earlier. Uh, that's the only downer to it. But I mean, you don't really need the flexibility of adjusting it like like a ball head would. How you can adjust the thing like this is fine. It's it's really it's really nice. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys how to set up uh, the floor remote uh, this way. So it's very affordable and it's awesome. So let's check it out. Okay, guys. So the first step you want to do is take your two AA batteries and take a uh, roll of gaffer tape about that length so that they can just rest in the middle and then fold it over on one side and then you're gonna fold this over this right here just roll them up like a burrito pretty much and there we go and then you'll get this is gonna be the first step so this is what you want right here and then let's jump into the next step okay now the next thing you want to do is just put two things of gaffer tape down like that around it and Basically, you're going to place your batteries near the front of the camera. On the, like, you're going to put it on the bottom part of your camera, but it's going to be near the, f the top. Uh, it just makes sense. This is where the dial would be if you're shooting vertically. But this is the overlook of it like this. And this is what you want right here. So let's, uh, the, next, this is the, ne the next step is the last step. Um, all you're going to be doing is just putting a, a extra tape on there so it doesn't fall off. Uh, let's, I'll show you how it looks. All right, guys. So here's the final product. So basically, all I did was, uh, as the earlier steps you saw, all I did here was just add a couple extra layers of gaffer tape just to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Because as many of you probably know that use gaffer tape already, it's not super sticky. And the the pro side of gaffer tape is it doesn't leave the uh, stickiness after uh, you normally would put tape on something like anything. If you put tape on something and then you remove the tape it's gonna end up leaving a bunch of that sticky stuff and it's a pain in the butt to get off especially on camera gear but with gaffer tape when you pull it off there's no stickiness at all which is awesome um, but the only con that I can think of is they're just not as sticky like as you can see like there's a like right here it's not as a uh, it's not staying on fully but it's not a big deal like all you do is just 
pr press down really firmly uh, before you set it up and it'll be good to go. But yeah, this is the cheapest way to uh, set up a floor remote as far as I know. I don't really see how you can beat it. This is pretty awesome. Uh, so if you're looking to try out a floor remote for high school basketball or youth or whatever it may be, I mean, go for it. But if it's what I do recommend, if it's high school um, or up, I highly recommend talking to the, either the athletic director or the team photographer, um, you know, whoever's in charge or has authority, especially at pro and college, ask for permission first and make sure that it's cool because some places don't allow floor remotes at all. Um, you just got to be careful with that. But if you get the access, um, I would recommend doing this. I mean, it's the easiest way because check it out. Let's, uh, let me show you the, the setup. Boom. That's it. And it's just angled perfect. Like, you got to just try it out yourself to see it. But it's awesome. Like, that's what it looks like. It's, it's literally just set down, lean forward. Boom. And it's awesome. And you, all you do is put your pocket wizard up top and let it rip. And to give you an idea of where to place the batteries, like, specifically, um, I don't know if you can see that right there. Let me um, adjust the focus here. Let's see. One second. There we go. Yeah, if you can see right there, um, that's where the tripod mount is basically so it's it's right above that um, looking at this side you can try to align it this is what it looks like give you guys a good view of it so you can see One second. hope this helps you guys out but yeah it's it's really simple I mean one two done let me refocus There we go. Pretty cool. I mean, it's very affordable, and it looks freaking awesome. Like, and it, and it works. It works great. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, as always, leave um, leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, I hope this video helped you guys out, and I hope you guys get some great shots with this setup. Um, thanks, guys. Catch you later.